if it's not going to my toes, I don't want it. Hey guys, Sid here, back with another video. I'm happy that you clicked on this video. Today I have a clothing haul, which is basically a collective haul of all the stuff that I bought for fall and winter. I live in New York, so our seasons are a little bit intense. I do want to say that I have four categories. I have jeans, I have dresses, I have shirts, and I have vests. So stay tuned through everything so you don't miss not one thing. I will have everything linked below. If I don't have a link, then I will say I don't have a link, sorry. For, I'm gonna start off with jeans. These jeans right here, I know they look like boring black. I'll put the thing here, the try on. These are the best jeans I've ever bought. I'm in that like slouchy vibe, I guess, aesthetic um, for this winter fall situation. I don't want anything tight on me unless like I'm actually wanting it tight. I've been gravitating a lot towards these lately. I don't know what it is. It's just they're so comfortable. They're so cute. I actually sized up. I got a size 8 and they were actually $88. I'm normally a size 4 but I've gained weight so I'm now a size 6 there which is the reason why this haul was prompted. None of my jeans are fitting me anymore because all of them are a size 4 and I'm like a size 6. So yeah that's why I have so many jeans. But those I got in a size 8, I would definitely size up if, if you want the slouchy fit. I actually had a fitting in them the other day in my mom's house. I'll put a picture here. I was supposed to go out and I was going to wear them with like this cute little top. But I didn't end up going out. But wow, I cannot wait to pop off on the ground with those. Next we have these which are also from Express. I think most of my jeans are from Express because I just went ham in there. Um, These are leather pants. Now, if you're like me, you constantly get leather pants and then like when you look back at them, you're like, why did I buy those and not these? So these are like their new ones. Um, I'm obsessed with them. They're so soft on the inside. They're suede as you can see. And here you can see the length. They actually hit my ankle, which I like, but they're not too long. I wish they were a little bit longer, but when I got the bigger size, I didn't like the way it looked like at the top. It looked like, like they were bunching up. I did not... I was not vibing with it at all, but I'm obsessed with the color. I'm obsessed with the fit. They make me look beautiful. Lastly, from Express, I got these super skinny jeans with a hole in them. They're just your perfect everyday situation. You need to go run out. You want to look cute, put together leggings kind of vibe. That's why I got these for leggings. Now, I'm not a leggings girl at all. I just started being a leggings girl and like last year i think it's because i started going to the gym i don't know i never really liked leggings but the ones that i do have i'm like obsessed with them and once i'm obsessed with something i'll continue to buy it now these my mom had them on the other day and i was like where are those from because they look like nike tech like they were giving nike vibes like just super cute she's like oh they're from loft i'm like what yeah, they're from Loft. So basically, a lot of the clothes that I get is because I see it on my mom, and I'm like, yeah, give me that. I want the same thing you have, mom. So these leggings are it. When I tell you these are the softest leggings I have ever worn in my entire life, like Nike, Adidas, nobody else can do better than these. Literally. And what I like a lot about them is that I could wear them with Nikes or I can wear them with Adidas. Like here where I'm from, like it's really, I mean, I actually don't like mixing brands. So like I won't wear Adidas with like Nike pants. I don't know. It seems very childish now that I think about it. But it's just not my vibe. So anyways, you can wear these with Nike or Adidas. And right now, my feet actually, I'm talking about this in a vlog, but I'll give you guys a little bit of inside scoop. This whole summer I was wearing sandals. So basically, my feet got used to like being like, you know, normal. Like with this foot out, like planted. I can't wear shoes anymore. Like none of my sneakers fit. So I'm on the hunt for like new shoes. I'm about to sell all of mine because my feet are like no longer conform to the shoe way. If that makes any sense so yeah that's pretty much why the the bootleg situation is coming out so that i could wear them with my foam runners because they are the only shoes that i can wear at the moment i wanted to mention these really quick because i did try them on and i showed you guys in the try on haul these are the a goldie ones they're the riley high rise straight crop i don't like the crop the jean fire 10 out of 10 not crop though I don't like it. I like I just don't have the shoes for it. It's not my vibe. I'm too tall for it. They look high water, so they're going back. If I could find them not cropped, then these would be the best jeans I've ever bought in my life. But they're cropped and I don't like that. Oh, I did a mistake and I got the express jeans. I don't know what these are called. Oh, I think I put the ticket in here. Yeah. These are called the modern straight high rise. Not the vibe either. They're size 4, which they're too tight anyways, and they just don't go all the way down, and I don't like that. If it's not going to my toes, I don't want it. Next up, 
is this shirt. Now, my mom, I think, probably had it on. Probably. It's from Lou and Gray, which the leggings are also from Lou and Gray. Everything will be in the link in the description box below. I'm sorry. I think she had it on, or maybe she got me one and I just got obsessed with it. They're so soft, they're so stretchy, and they're a little bit see through, but like I'm okay with it. Skins does worse, in my opinion, so I'm fine with it. They're breathable, so I can put them under a, a jacket and I could also like wear them in my house, kind of. I have four of them. I have two of these, and then I have purple, plum, and then uh. I would call this like hunter green as you can see here like the material is like so soft it's so warm and they're like long as well don't be sleeping on the grandma brands I know that like it's majority pushed to like older people but I'm obsessed so recently I got into vests I've never really been a vest person because I had um, uniform my entire life so I kind of had to wear vests with my uniforms so now that I don't, I don't really particularly choose it, but I saw them as an accessory last year and last year I got like three and this year I kind of wanted more staple ones. So I got these two. It's more like a knit. You can see the material there. This one's a cable knit. I think I'm vibing more with the beige than the black just because I want to wear black underneath this. But this one is super cute to go like with every single thing. Leather, pants, the other pants that I'm raving about, the ones from Express, the boot cut ones, 10 out of 10. This one as well, this one just gives me more like clean girl aesthetic, vibey, I'm going to get brunch in Brooklyn kind of vibe. I'm vibing with both. I like the one that I like the way that this one hits a little bit more with like blue jeans, but this one can go with anything. I could even wear this with sweatpants and it's like who cares 10 out of 10 would recommend oh they're both from Talbots that's why I picked them up together and I got them in a medium also an older brand but I love it I also got this vest which I'm obsessed with I haven't found like the right brown top to wear underneath it so I've only worn it like by itself um that's how I like to see it the best because I, I do want to see it with a brown button down or not a brown button down i mean a brown one of these i might actually go look and see if i can get one of these in brown because that would be perfect but yeah it's super soft super cute you could wear it by itself you could wear it with something else i got it in a medium it's from the brand called hooked up i think it's in bloomingdale's next up we have a piece from my mom's store my mom's store is called the high collection i'll probably have a link to this um but it's just this I don't know, what do you call this? I feel like in Spanish it's called chaleco. Obviously it's a vest, yes, yes. That's what I meant to say. But you could see, I could see this like under a man's like button down situation. But anyways, this is women. This is vibey. I wore this in the summer by itself with like a sports bra underneath. Beautiful. And now for the fall, 10 out of 10. Just, I'm, I'm obsessed. Just even like the color of it. I don't have anything gray. I'm not a gray girl, but I've been transitioning. For dresses, I'll start with this one. I got this Carl Lagerfeld. Right? Because my mom makes fun of me every time I say it. Carl Lagerfeld. I got this dress because I've been trying to do like the oversized situation. Um, I am going to wear this with my Bottega boots. I'm going on a date. So by that time, hopefully you guys have seen the picture. If not, go to my Instagram. I'll be here. Definitely going to wear this with my Bottega boots. It's super cute. I will definitely wear this with a leather jacket. And it's just like breathable soft good material and i'm just obsessed with it i got it in a size medium so that it could be big another dress that i got which might be a little like wife on the prairie or whatever that thing is called i love it like this is like my normal style that i've always had like since i was young i love little like girly dresses i edged it up a little bit with a leather jacket which I think it looks really cute with or without. So you can go you can go to a dinner with this or you could just like daily brunch vibes. Definitely. With some like high thigh high leather boots. Ooh! Even some cowboy boots. Yes. Next we have this which I'm obsessed with. This is the cutest outfit I have for the fall. I can't wait to wear it. My mom and I are supposed to go like to um, a vineyard, which I think that this is exactly what I'm going to wear because I think it's the perfect outfit for it. But the material is so soft. It's so beautiful. It's so flattering. Like it makes my body look like ba-ba-bam, ba-ba-boom. You know what I'm saying? I just, I love it. 
It's also from, I think, Booming Dose, if I'm not mistaken. And I got it in a size small. So I guess it kind of runs big. I got a blazer because I have several blazers, but they're all navy blue or black. I don't have, like, color. So I got this one. This one is, like, a plum. It looks black, but it's plum. I love it, but I have yet to figure out the outfit for it. So that's the reason why it has the tags on. I'm trying to figure out if I will wear it with something. Um, I got it in an extra large because I wanted the big oversized fit plan to wear with biker shorts but now it's like only 40 degrees outside i can't go outside in biker shorts it's not cute next up we have this sweater from Abercrombie fitch i was actually looking for leather pants because i did get their leather pants they have them like you know how they have small regular and large in like length right tall and short whatever that is i was gonna get the leather pants in the long but they didn't have my size then they had another one that was super cute they're nowhere to be found anymore and then i saw this and i fell in love with it i don't i'm not normally a sweater kind of girl like this like cropped but because like the ones from zara they're just so trash like they fit you like under here i'm not going outside in that this i can wear with leggings and it's super cute i can wear with jeans and it's super cute it's not giving like sheen you know what i'm saying i like it it's soft it's cute i got mine in a size a small and yeah, it's just the vibe. Like, it's not too much material. I think that's what I'm trying to say here. I don't like things that are, like, too heavy because I won't wear it. I feel, like, suffocated and I won't wear it. Next up, I got another one, another sweater. This one is actually from Express. And I, I think it's giving holiday. Like, I can do this for Thanksgiving, Christmas, one of those. Or going out vibes, like, in the winter. And it's super soft. It's my vibe. It's my vibe. I also got this shirt from Karl Lagerfeld mom if you're watching this which i saw it in her closet here we go again i saw it in her closet it was just plain white and it had like a little thing here and then i saw this one and i was like yep yeah, give me that one this one's super cute I, could, I feel like i could wear it with jeans leather pants tie it up like you have so like so this shirt is so versatile you can do so many things with it and i'm very happy that it's in my closet another thing from express now you may see it and be like oh it looks like it's gonna be too big look at this it like your body like your body looks perfect it looks like i went to the doctor and got my body done like just 10 out of 10 i love that it's short in the back and then long in the front but at the perfect length it's perfect and then the color i feel like it suits my skin color really well i can't do like a light pink plum yes mauve yes lastly i got this shirt y'all i don't know if you guys seen this shirt on youtube here with me but i've been wearing the shirt non stop this summer it's definitely coming with me to fall because it's just super cute the material is thick so it's like that compression compression material where you feel like i just love it it's just fire and then some honorable mentions that i got in the summertime but i didn't actually get to wear this shirt um it's from moschino which i love that first when i first saw it i wanted to wear it every single day and then i didn't go anywhere in the entire summer so I wore it actually for my mom's birthday, but I wanted to wear it more. And I feel like I could wear this all fall right now. I know it's giving like summer, but it's just like I could do fall. Who's going to tell me not? And yeah, that's about it. That sums up pretty much everything that I got this fall and winter. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what piece you might be getting or that you have your eye on. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you and you. And you in the back soon. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Bella Hadid, who? This tripod is not for tall girls. Like, hello, mama's literally like 5'7. Get to it, baby.